This is the pre-build preparations for the Master Grade Super Deformed Freedom Gundam. When customizing your Gunpla, you're going to be working with things like model glues, various types of paints, and also solvents like paint thinner or isopropyl alcohol are the two most common ones. You want to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated room because you don't want to be uh, inhaling the fumes because they could cause health issues or at the very least make you feel intoxicated. You're going to want to read any warning labels on any products that you use or do some research online to see if there's additional health uh, safety measures you need to take, such as respiratory gear or anything such like that. If you are working with isopropyl alcohol, do keep in mind that that is a wood alcohol which can cause serious health issues, including blindness if consumed. So you want to make sure that you definitely wash your hands after any exposure to it to make sure that you don't get it in your food later on. Okay, we're going to start off with the panel lining while the pieces are on the runner because it's much easier to work with them that way. And I have my Tamaya panel lining, which are an acrylic, which is nice because I can use this and then, I'm sorry, these are enamel. I can use these as panel lining. Then I can use acrylics for the painting and they don't affect each other when I try to clean either one of them up because they're different chemicals used to, uh, for the enamel paints other than the, and different ones for the acrylic paints. So, I'll be using the dark gray for my white pieces. I'll be using the dark brown for the red pieces, because that looks nicer. And then everything else, including this kind of mid-color, almost light gray, I'll be using black. Um, I've, I've tried the darker gray on this color before, and the black looks much nicer. So, and, and also, since this is a mass, you got to think of this more of a, as a master grade kit. Check both sides of the pieces because there can be details that need to be panel lined on the back as well as on the front of the pieces. So in this case, like this right here, this piece here has some panel lining here and then it has some panel lining on the, bo on the bottom here. So just make sure to check both sides. So... Let's just get right on into it.
Okay, now that the panel lines have had a chance to dry, I'm going to go ahead and clean, do the cleanup. So I've got my handy Desk Bay enamel thinner and my precision uh, cotton swab. So I'm all set to go. So let's just get right on into here.
Okay, we've got the panel lining done and cleaned up, and there are no color correcting stickers for this kit, so that means we can move right on to the removing the pieces from the runners, so why don't we just get right on into this.
watching this video right to the end. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. That does help out the channel. If you would like notifications as to when new videos are posted to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, what I have done is I have set up a Google Calendar to show my build schedule. So if you're interested in finding out what I'm building and when, please do subscribe to that. The link is up here. If you do have time, please do enjoy one of the videos that are popping up around my head.